In the other video in this lesson, I did a sort of an overall description of what a rational function is and how they work. And we used uh, y equals 1 over x as uh, sort of the sample information for, for that discussion. And that was example A in this text. So I'm going to start with example B here, which is y equals 1 over x minus 2 quantity squared. And you can see here as we're uh, dealing with this information that our sort of our, our difficult point, the, the value that x cannot be, um, which is what makes the denominator 0, would be 2, because in that case we'd get y equals 1 over 2 minus 2 squared. And 2 minus 2 would be 0, of course. So then we'd have 1 over 0, and we can't do that. So our, our uh, asymptote here, our vertical asymptote, will be at x equals 2. And we know that as we're graphing our function, we can't ever actually hit that line, because x can never actually be that value without without performing an illegal, illegal operation. So I went ahead and uh, graphed a bunch of other, uh, or not graphed, or just calculated a bunch of other points here for x and y, because it took a little bit and I didn't want to waste our time. But what I'm going to do is graph these uh, points here, and we'll discuss how I came up with them real quick. Uh, first one here is x equals 0, and that uh, we come out with y equals a quarter, and that's because 1 over 0 minus 2 squared gives us 1 over negative 2 squared, which is the same as 1 over positive 4. So that gives us a point where x is 0, so there's no left or, uh, no left or right, and y is a quarter, so we're just barely above, right about here. And then our next point is x is 1, y is 1, so that's right about here. And if x is 1 and a half, then y is 4. So you can see suddenly we're climbing really fast here. If x is 2, we get illegal operations. So that doesn't work. Um, if we go beyond that, if x is 2 and a half, then we get um, well, 5 halves. We get 1 over 2 and a half minus 2 squared gives us 1 over 1 half squared, so 1 over a quarter. If I have 1 and I divide it into pieces 1 quarter each, I get 4 pieces. So if x is uh, 2 and a half, then y is 4. If x is 3, y is 1. And you can see we're mirroring that other side now. And if x is 4, y is a quarter. So this graph then comes out looking sort of like a, know, a tall I-beam kind of. And as x gets into negative values, we'll get closer and closer to the x-axis here. And as x gets into big positive values, we'll get closer and closer to the x-axis in the other direction. But we'll never actually hit this middle point, this uh, x equals 2, although we'll get infinitely close to it as these values go on up and get very, very large for y. OK, and for example C, we get uh, y equals x squared over x squared plus 1. And similarly, I went ahead and did some calculations ahead of time here to save us a little bit of time. Uh, if we start with substituting in negative 3 for x, then we get negative 3 squared over negative 3 squared plus 1. So we get 9 over 9 plus 1. So we get 9 tenths. So that tells us if we have negative 3 for x, we have almost 1 for y. So we have a point right here on our graph. And then if x is negative 2, then we come out with 8 tenths. So that's a little less. So we go down right about here. If x is 0, then we get 0 squared over 0 squared plus 1. And 0 over 1 is 0. So we have a point at the origin. If x is 1, then we end up with 1 squared over 1 squared plus 1. So we have 1 over 2. I don't know where I got 1 over 1, but 1 over 2, 1 half. So if x is 1, y is a half. And if x is 2, then we get 2 squared over 2 squared plus 1. So we get 4 over 5, 4 fifths. So if x is 2, we're a little above that. So you can see we're starting to go back up on the other side. Now I went ahead and finished graphing this function using the Desmos graphing calculator right here. So you can see that uh, here's all the, about what the points we'd come up with were here and here and so forth. Um, you can see that the lines really level out just as we start to get away from 2. Um, and by 4, they're almost level. And then they just continue just below 1. In fact, if I graph 
y equals 1, you can see that's directly on top of it. And then 1 becomes our horizontal asymptote here. So instead of this one having an up-down asymptote, it has a left-right asymptote. And those values will never quite reach 1, um, but they'll get extremely close and goes off in both directions.